Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm off the stars and um, I have a complicated um, strategy, astral strategy, devised by the fallen angels or the fallen angelics, uh, sometimes known as demons in my prior work, although that's a bit obscure. Um, and this has to do with the sexual dimorphism the gender differences introduced by the third dimension on Earth uh, amongst human beings, d as discussed in the Law of One, the raw material. Uh, so the fallen angelics are very, very bright, and they have and they have immense power on Earth, and they have introduced various um, game plans that. Uh, enslave the human population and one of those has to do with sexuality and gender differences um, so and it affects quite a few people still on earth although the power of the fallen angels has gone from earth and they're beginning their own ascension process uh, back into the angel realms um, so the game plan that I've been running into over and over again has to do with uh, enslavement of women and uh, and it goes like this that men uh, they have no interest in women except as objects uh, to be manipulated by them and that th this is on the unconscious and subconscious realms um, and uh, that men gain sexual gratification from association or companionship with each other. Uh, the notion of jacking off together, for instance, um, which uh, in the most developed instances of this malware display on Earth has to do with um, men in the physical realm uh, having sex together or, uh, or like that. And so these men uh, who either physically or like mentally identify it, with other men as soul companions uh, and not with women are, um, are using uh, their astral powers to, to cause women to, uh, to, feel, to feel sexual and to, to have orgasm. And uh, so the men uh, with their powers of third eye point are stimulating the women to feel sexual all the time. And the men also have the notion that women are objects that they can manipulate. So rather than fellow, fellow souls or soul journeyers or soul mates, the notion is that women are an object that they can use to gain more power in the world or to, uh, to, um, to receive uh, wealth or uh, or like that not the notion that women are uh, like doing a tantric exercise of sexuality with them as as man and wife or like that in other words that whole paradigm of of sacred sexuality is missing in this malware setup uh, instituted by the fallen angels um, so so the men are there, for instance, I saw a, re a recent instance last year where there was a man who was um, who was um, in a sexual relationship, a paid sexual relationship with with a, a, a person of high spiritual status, and uh, this man who uh, he he had a, he had a couple of behavioral things that he did that illustrate this. The one thing is that because the man that he was mated with um, as a sex worker was hated women, after they had sex, the act of sex once a month or so together, the the second man would go out and, and grab a woman and kill her physically or else he would date her as was the case last year that I saw. He would date her and then after he left her physically at her doorstep he would he would rape her astrally so that she was like overcome by um, 
uh, feeling of sexuality and had an orgasm, not in his presence. And but the thing of it that strikes me about these kinds of repeat performances amongst those who are infected with this malware is that the men themselves have no feeling uh, about the orgasm that the woman has except a feeling of power over. They feel they have made her come. Okay, so, um, so and, and the woman becomes emotionally through her heart and through her sexual organs extremely attached to these men. And so the result is that the men uh, the, y control the woman's like any, any income that she has or uh, they get a sense of high self-esteem from her adoration of them. Um, let me see what else. They may, they may use the money that she has, you know, they pr persuade her through mind control to donate to them or to their cause. And in an extreme instance, black widow or activities occur where the woman is is killed and and all of her money goes to some person or some cause so uh this is this is the kind of uh veil issue that that the fallen angels have um pushed up or exaggerated to the point where it becomes no longer possible for a person of one gender to realize that a person of the other gender is a human being. And all this, of course, is becoming very obvious. It's, it's coming up to the light of the summer solstice 2017, and it's, uh, women are no longer falling for that because they see what's happening. They're beginning to see that. So, so all of this is leaving Earth, but I just thought I'd mention it as another one of those, um, those very involved, uh, multi-part um, uh, plays or performances in the, the realm of duality that the fallen angels have instituted so as to create, um, create the duality play here on Earth. Um, as we are rising into the fifth dimension, uh, it becomes clear once more that we are all souls. Uh, eternal souls and and uh, great loving hearts uh, made in the image of God and it will be a completely different situation with regard to gender so much more of kinship for everyone on earth which will be great and the fallen angels themselves will be moving into new realms of power and glory as, as they begin to remember their heritage and birthright as, as the great angels of the realm of God, as they themselves move out of all consciousness of the third dimension and back into the dimensions where they really, uh, where they really belong to be. So.